Hello everyone, uh, my name is Fang Nguyen Hong Ngoc and you can call me Jamie. Uh, so today I would like to uh, introduce my uh, topics, an overview of the habitat mapping. Uh, about the content, the first one I uh, would like to make some uh, introduction about this topic. The second one, uh, make, um, introduce uh, it's like an overview of the recent research and the final ones uh, would be uh, some uh, conclusions about that. About introductions, so as you know, uh, the multi beam sauna uh, play a very important role in building the habitat map which support the marine bi uh, biologists uh, to observe some marine stuff. And uh, in this section, uh, M2, first one, um, summarize some habitat uh, mapping research. Second one, uh, update some sauna technique in the habitat uh, mapping. And the third one, uh, present some example of the data um, visualizations. Um, um, as well as uh, some results from the research. About the history of the sauna survey, um, so in the very earliest uh, state, uh, the scientists um, do a very simple uh, method to uh, measure the, the seafloor depth, um, like, use, uh, like using a, a rope like uh, this picture. But uh, uh, from the 1980 uh, to present, with the development of the computer uh, power, uh, the digital processing in uh, mapping cities, it become very popular. Um, yes, right now. So some overview of the recent uh, research. Uh, so actually, in this section, I just want to focus on uh, three paper um, for build uh, for building a. Uh, habitat map uh, actually uh, it's basically have the same process for example in the the first one you can see they they use the the multi beam sauna uh, data and use some um, uh, vehicle um, uh, imagery and uh, some uh, photograph uh, and sediment sample uh, but the second one they uh, they use more methods it's like the cluster uh, cluster analyzing um, to um, yes uh, build the, the map and the third one they uh, they use a particular program it's called the Mariano program it's from Norway it's, it's, it's very interesting program and uh, I'm gonna uh, go uh, more detail in this paper so the first one is a paper uh, using a multi methods uh, to build the, the habitat mapping uh, with the very high resolution uh, sauna data. So um, in here, uh, the first uh, method, you can see they use the uh, multi-beam uh, sauna with the betting measures and backscatter data. So we have uh, uh, mentioned a lot uh, about this kind of data in the class, so I skip that. So the second one you can see here, you, uh, they use the remotely operated vehicles image, um, and and what is this? So this device is a remotely controlled, and is um e equipped by the camera, a consoler, and a manipulator to record the very high uh, quality, um. Um, videos on the, the sea floor. The third one, they use the photograph and sediment sample. The photograph, they use a trans diver like this uh, to take the photo on the sea floor. And with the sediment sample, they use a, a box corner uh, like this. And you can see here it has a small uh, sorrow or like closure uh, mechanism uh, on the left side in here. And when uh, when it um, trigger, uh, so this play uh, swing down and slide uh, across the bottom of the square box, uh, trapping a uh, accuse of the uppermost uh, seafloor sediment uh, and uh, then overlying seawater inside. So that's the the way they take the sediment sample. 
So in here you can see um, this one is the image. Uh, they 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 check like the diving um, diving methods or yes or you the uh, the 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 operated vehicle to to record the video. And in here they make a compare uh, comparisons with the back scary data from the multiple sonar. And you can see here it's 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 look. It have to be have the same feature, yeah. For the comparisons, and finally, um, they will make a habitat mapping like this, and you can see here it have the, um, the very detail, uh, in here, uh, with the red color, they they can know uh, with location is uh, great, and with locations they have the flash, and uh, sloping feature, and even they. They know uh, which kind of sand or uh, gravel or sea grass on the background or something like that. It's, it's a very detailed um, habitat map. So the second paper, uh, they are just uh, integrating the biological and physical data uh, to build a map. So in here, I, I will talk a little about the bio, uh, some key um, definitions because they mention a lot in the paper. So uh, the first one is a biotic and abiotic. So in the picture here, you can see you can see here um, in the with the biotic. Biotic is the living things on the sea floor. It's like the animal, um, plants, and the non-living thing is like the soil, um, water, or um, uh, mineral on the seafloor and what is the macrofauna? Macrofauna is the range of life from it's a very very uh, small um, animal live on the seafloor uh, like um, this guy the ladybugs, amphibus and the, this guy the scaly uh, gachopus it's a very very small animal so the raw sex you can see here is the same. Uh, they also use the the sonar data um, and use the uh, the sediment uh, sample and some um, yes some image some uh, video on the, the sea floor, and then use the uh, cluster analyzing methods, uh, and finally uh, mapping uh, with uh, object software and uh, classifications based on. Uh, the coastal and uh, marine ecological classification data to build a map. So this one is the cluster analyzing uh, methods. So in here is like uh, you can see it have the character and the the the, the, the number here it's it the uh, the sediment sample uh, in my understanding. So uh, they use this kind of data and. Um, to and uh, use the um, the cluster analysis to divide the database into different groups. So in here you can see it have four groups here, and this table provide uh, provides us a very detail the components uh, in each uh, group. So its component here is the is like the the animal species, uh, and um. Its component in each group have to be have a very very strong um, relationship or the co uh, correlations uh, to each other. Uh, so how how they can um, know that? So um, the cluster uh, methods uh, pays on the um, the behavior, the, the same behavior or the same um, habits of each. Um, animal species in here uh, to uh, make a very uh, strong uh, curry, a very strong relationship to uh, to its um, uh, to the um, animal species so you can see here uh, finally they, they can uh, classify them um, divide into a different group and make a, a map like this. So you can see here uh, the map is 
the same idea with the reverse one. They they can use uh, they can know uh, which uh, animal uh, live on a particular area on the mud muddy sand or on the shallow mud or, or on or live on the deep mud. So um, and and police is the the kind of the here and police. And Poliska is the family of uh, amphibians. It means they, they, this group had had the same uh, feature, the same behavior, and um, spear a uh, cave topters is is the kind of the worm is in here, yeah, the kind of the animal, uh, is have the same behavior, the same habits, uh, live on a particular area on the particular or the particular uh, sense or the the muddy sense or something like this yeah and in here they they have a the table provide a very detailed uh, components in its glass in its group like this in the third paper uh, they uh, build a mapping also the, the habitat mapping but in here they just use a particular problem it's called the Mariano Barrens. Uh, and the the process uh, at you at you as 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 I mentioned above, they use the same the same um process to build a map. But in here they uh, they all of all of this step they just um conduct the resource on, on this problem. It's like it so you can see here this problem, this Blast one is very amazing. They have a lot of information here. They have the gecko, uh, some uh, overlays on the border color or something like. That. It's like a very. It's like e every information um, um, they use just uh, integrate this um, in a particular problem here. They don't need to use the objects to build a map or. Um, uh, check the data, analyzing data in a particular, in the other software. No, they, in my understanding, they just use a particular uh, platform, Mariano, to, to build habitats. And in here, this, this software also have uh, a feature. It's like they integrate uh, the video or the picture on the seafloor like that. In the same process, yeah, collect the the, the data using the uh, the fauna, the data, environmental relations to model the constructions, and then we'll do a very uh, accuracy uh, habit uh, by a top map, yeah, this kind of uh, habitat map, and finally got a a very uh, good map with the. Um, yeah, the sediment uh, and the animal on live in a particular area. Yeah, you you, you can know. Um, it's like the same idea I I had mentioned before about the conclusion. Um, so in this um, in this um, research, uh, I have uh, figured out how the scientists can uh, compile the uh, sauna um, sauna data and. Mm, yes, and use the operator's vehicle image and sediment sample to uh, to build a very very accuracy ma habitat map, and yeah, and this one is called the ground drawing. Yes, it is like uh, the use the um, the 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 ROV uh, image uh, vehicle image uh, and die observation to verify it's like the verifications the the sauna data and with the applications of habitat map uh, this support a lot for the marine biologists in um, uh, spatial planning or uh, management the ecological uh, environment yeah and thank you so much for your watchings um, if you have any questions about the the topic please feel free to uh, give me the the questions thank you so much